Charlie Ayers first stepped on stage at the world famous comedy store in 1991. And ever since then, it's been a roller coaster. No problem, you're like, thank you. I know what you're thinking, and it's true. And what happens when Chris Farley cuts a cork and the life goes on? Charlie's love for performing began when he attended Helix High School and was vice president of the drama club and part of the speech team where he was voted most likely not to show up at a debate. After performing a few years at the Comedy Store, Charlie Ayers got a call in 1998 to be part of a new show on the game show network called Extreme Gong. Slipped him the tongue. Well, there's no benefits of smoking, no benefits at all. Well, maybe Barbara Miles, Camel Cash, but they give you things smokers don't use. How many smokers go kayaking? I really want to know. I want to see some realism, folks. I want to see some realism. I want to see commercial life. You know, it's a shame he did die. But at least he had enough Marlboro Miles for the casket. That's a lovely thing. After his first I national appearance on a television cast. show where he was Thank one you. of the few comedians who did not get gone from the show, led him nowhere. It's sucker! Furniture police! In the same year, oh, Charlie oh, was accepted to be in several Henderson. commercials for Coming. a local furniture company. Oh my god! This is so tacky! Get him out of here! I was friend! I was gonna go to Beachley! I swear! That's what they all say, buster! One of the commercials Charlie appeared with was with fellow comedian, the beautiful and talented Shayma Tosh. Charlie was also in several San Diego local commercials like Omni Express and King Stallman Bail Bonds. Charlie Ayers also appeared in several independent films and comedy shorts. That's not funny. Certain things that in 2004, Charlie recorded his first DVD performed at the La Jolla Comedy Store, Did I Miss My Spot, which you can see on YouTube. It's not okay to wear a speedo while I'm doing it. Despite his trials and tribulations, his rejection from Hollywood, his battle with obesity and diabetes, Charlie hopes to rise and become a name in Hollywood as a comedian. That's not funny.